Hi there. So the first step we have to take in case you don't have Unity installed already is to head over to the unity3d.com website and download the latest version of Unity. Depending on when you're watching this course, there might be minor differences here and there, like where certain options are, where certain windows are, but the, the underlying knowledge for making the, for making the things we're going to learn in this course is pretty much the same throughout time. So we want to get started here in Unity website. It's going to take us to another page where we can select the version of Unity we want to use. We can either get the plus one, which is $25 a month, pro one, but we also have the personal, which should be perfect for you. You don't have to worry. There is no need to uh, pay anything right now. Uh, if you're just learning, if you're not making a huge revenue with Unity made games or other games, then you can just head over to the personal personal version. Just make sure you take a look on uh, the conditions to see if you are entitled to this, but you probably are. We're going to click on Try Personal. And once we hit here, we need to read the terms of service, agree with them, if you of course do, and then you just download the installer. It's a pretty straightforward process. Just download Unity, and then it's going to appear in your downloads folder. You're just going to open it here. And then you're going to see this file, Unity Download Assistant. It depends if you're on Mac or on Windows, it really doesn't matter. The installation process is pretty much the same. You just double click the file. It's going to wait for a few seconds. You're going to open the installer. And it's from a trusted location. It's from Unity website. And after the assistant opens, we're just going to continue, agree with the license if we do. Then you have to select the components. Now here is a good moment for you to review everything you need. The first thing you need, of course, is the Unity tool. So we want this to be checked. If you already have Unity, you probably have Visual Studio installed uh, along with it. So if you want to do any sort of coding, make sure that this is checked, right? And depending on where you want to, to distribute your game, you have a few options of platforms here. We have iOS and Android, which are the leading mobile platforms. You can uh, enable these two if you want to make uh, some sort of video or a game with Scene Machine on these two platforms. And WebGL as well, which should be uh, selected here because you can just distribute them uh, to whoever you want to watch your video in a desktop device. So after you're done selecting these, you're just going to hit continue. The installation process is going to continue and we're going to head over to the next lesson where we're going to set up our first project. So I see you there.